Welcome back guys. In this video, we want to learn how to go ahead and set up a project uh, that is going to be in React and we're going to use the WooCommerce REST API and we're going to use the Next.js framework for this. The first thing we're going to do is we'll create a directory uh, called WooNext. So we'll say mkdir WooNext. Okay, and then we'll do npm init. And just fill up some basic information like package name, uh, then version number, description, entry point can be server.js, customer, you can leave that entry, author, England, Sayed, license, and HTTPS. Okay. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we will install the packages like next. Uh, in fact, the first thing is React, React DOM, and then next. Okay. So we'll install these three packages and this is going to go ahead and install React for us, React DOM and Next.js and Next.js Next is going to install all the dependencies like Webpack, uh, setup configuration for Babel and it's going to use the Node server behind the scenes to uh, go ahead and serve our application server side. Okay, so and the, and the best part is that all you have to do is just create a directory called pages and the name needs to be the same. And whatever file you create inside of this, uh, Next.js is going to create a route for you at that URL. Okay. So, for example, if you create a file called index.js, what Next.js is going to do is going to go ahead and uh, make that component, React component, available to you at the root URL. And if you're going to create uh, a component called about.js, or you can say rather page as about.js then is next is going to make uh, that particular component available uh, to view on slash about so it automatically creates the route for you it actually saves your time okay so let's have a look so I'm gonna go ahead and create a page called index.js index dot JS okay and let's create a com component we'll call it index and let's create a functional component and the best part is that if you create a functional component then you don't actually have to import react it's only when you need to uh, create a class based component then you will need to import react component because you extend react component class and we'll just say export default index okay and uh, just going to return let's say a div let's switch to JSX and just we'll say hello world okay so now we're going to go ahead and define some of the scripts okay so if you go to next year's side they ask you to define all of these scripts so we can actually do that So in fact, we don't have to define all of the scripts. We can just define one. We can say dev, and then we can just say next. Okay, so now all I have to do is, once everything is installed, do npm run dev. And you will have all of these codes available on GitHub, so you'll be able to take it from there. Okay, And if you want to follow along, you can code along with me. So let's have a look. So now I can go on to localhost 3000 and I should have this available. So if I do that, sure enough, you can see we have got hello world. Okay. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use bootstrap uh, to save time in doing CSS. So I can just go to bootswatch and take it from there. And instead of creating the uh, navigation on each and every page, we can create layouts uh, in Next.js. Okay, so if you want to keep your components, you can keep them in components directory. This name can be anything, uh, it doesn't matter, but we generally use components. And then we're going to say uh, layout. <laughs> we're going to say layout. 
So that will be const layout is equal to return that will be export default layout. This is layout. And inside of this, what we can do is we can say props.children. So we just need to put props over here. And we can say props.children. Okay, and then we can use this layout wherever we want. So we can use it in pages. So you can consider uh, each of the component that cre you create inside of pages as views. So now instead of using a div right here, we can just use layout. So the layout. So you'll keep all your pages inside of pages, and you can keep the components. Uh, over here okay so anything that you create over here will be available at that route like for example if you create about.js will be available at slash about uh, but that's why we're keeping these components separate otherwise if you come uh, create a component like layout inside of pages then it will be available at slash layout so it's better to keep your uh, components that you're going to reuse outside of it inside of components directory so We'll have opening layout tag and a closing layout tag and inside of this we can just write anything. So what will happen is this props.children will be replaced by whatever content you put inside of layout. So what we're going to do is we'll create two files. One is header and second is footer. So let's say header.js and footer.js and then we'll just use Boots watch. So we'll choose, let's say, this theme. Okay. So to choose this theme, all we have to do is just go to do inspect element over here and then just take this URL. Okay. And next just provides us with head tag, head, head component that we can import. So import next from next head and this is where we can include our bootstrap so we'll say sorry so we'll do head so we'll head opening and closing tag and then link and inside of this link I can say well style sheet and an href will be a bootstrap URL with the root URL as a prefix. Okay, so now we have our boot, bootstrap included and we can also mention our title tag over here. Okay, so we can say title uh, WooCommerce React theme. Okay, so let's have a look. It's taking some time to build up. And now, uh, Inside of the header, we can create a functional component. So header is equal to say export default header. And inside of this, you can just do return, then div. And we also need a navigation. So we can create a nav component. So nav, we'll say const nav is equal to export default nav. And we can just return nav inside of this. So since we have that available in Bootstrap, we can just go over here and take the navigation. So go to this theme. And let's say we pick up this one. Okay, so I'll just copy that. I'll paste it here. So just, just restart the server. Okay, so I'll paste it here. And let's get rid of this button. We don't need that. 
and what else? We don't need the form. We'll get rid of the form. And that's about it. Okay. And then we need to import this nav inside of the header. Okay, so we've imported nav in the header and we can then import this header inside of our layout component. So we can say header, not head but header. Okay, so now this will be available to all the components that use layout. Okay, so let's have a look. So it's just building right now. So you can see now we've got the head available. Okay.